Destiny 2 has changed significantly over time from its original launch and is now going free to play. Due to this new free to play and a la carte expansion model, there has been a lot of confusion over which version of Destiny 2 players should purchase. In this video, we'll go into detail on what is included in each version and briefly break down three main player types, new, returning, and veterans, to figure out which version of Destiny is best suited for you. With the new a la carte model, there are no longer any prerequisites for jumping into a Destiny 2 expansion. This means you don't have to play hours of old content just to be able to play what you actually want to. We'll get to some important details in fine print a bit later in the video, particularly when we break down what you get for purchasing Shadowkeep specifically. But first, we'll start with New Light, which is the hardest to explain. Destiny New Light is the name for the new, free-to-play version which consists of a shocking amount of content. It includes the base Red War campaign that we saw during Destiny 2's launch, but it also includes both Year 1 expansions, Curse of Osiris, and Warmind. Everything that was in those versions of the game will be available to you for free, full stop, which even includes all of the Leviathan raids. What is truly wild though, and makes New Light the perfect starting point for both new and returning casual players, is that all of the destinations are unlocked. This means you can visit destinations that were released after year one, and explore places like the Tangled Shore, Dreaming City, and even the Moon, the reprised and reinvented location commonly visited in the original Destiny. Exotics from Year 2 will also be available, such as the Arbalist, Bad Juju, Thunderlord, and Outbreak Perfected. All PvP maps will be available, and you will also have access to the free rolling updated content that will be made available during the Shadowkeep season, known as Season of the Undying. This includes the Festering Core and the Scarlet Keep Strikes, the new Armor 2.0 system, combat finishers, the Seasonal Artifact, reprised PvP maps familiar to D1 veterans, and free seasonal rank rewards, which we'll get into later. According to Bungie, you'll have access to Gambit, a PvEVP mode that was first introduced in the Forsaken expansion and its annual pass version, Gambit Prime. Black Armory Forges will be accessible, but whereas the forges are quite frankly tedious, the six-person match-made endgame activity known as the Menagerie is an absolute treat. We don't know yet if those modes will be active immediately on the game's main director hub as they usually require some initiation quest steps, you can go to GameSpot.com and check out our guides to help you get started. The next version after New Light is the Forsaken Complete Edition. Recently having undergone a price reduction, this version includes all of the content available in the free-to-play version with the addition of the Aldrin Soft Campaign storyline, which follows your quest for revenge in honor of an NPC ally, Cade 6. The most significant piece of content locked away behind this version of Destiny 2 are the new subclasses. These are variations to your Guardian that can radically change your role in a larger team and offer different perks and super abilities that you may find interesting. An impressive number of exclusive exotics have been released since Forsaken's launch, and not having access to them may be discouraging for players who expect to play Destiny in the long term. Last Wish, Scourge of the Past, and Crown of Sorrow are also exclusive raids and can only be accessed with ownership of Forsaken. The final version of Destiny 2 is the standalone DLC, Shadowkeep. Shadowkeep includes new story missions and quests, a new dungeon to be released mid-season post-launch, and an all-new raid located in the Black Garden, among other things. Now I cannot stress this enough, based on what Bungie has written and from the language used, Buying Shadowkeep's Deluxe Editions does not come with Forsaken. This means you will only have the entitlements of Destiny New Light and Shadowkeep. You will not have access to the exclusive gear, quests, and raids from Forsaken in all of Year 2. Purchasing Shadowkeep will only grant you its own exotics, quests, and campaign, and will also come with a Season Pass for Season of the Undying. As if it wasn't confusing enough breaking apart Destiny into these different versions, there are now constant world updates and content being shipped in Seasons. Season of the Undying has content exclusive to Shadowkeep owners such as the Vex Offensive, Nightmare Hunts, the Leviathan's Breath, and Divinity Exotic Quest, as well as the premium season track offering rewards in a Fortnite or Apex Legends seasonal battle pass style as you level up. According to the game's director, Luke Smith, returning and new players will have a baseline power of 750 on all of their armor and weapons, which was previously the max power level before the new season of the Undying. Veterans have grown used to this evolving world, but new players might be surprised to realize that expansions and seasons aren't mutually exclusive in Destiny 2. The paid expansions cover content drops targeted towards more hardcore players that enjoy pursuing exclusive exotics, exploring dungeons, and challenging the endgame raids. Seasons, on the other hand, will have some free content accessible to all players, but will still need ownership 
membership of the Season Pass to fully access all of the upcoming content. This means that if you are a new player, you should probably stick to New Light to see if Destiny 2 is right for you. We'll get a gobstopping amount of free content, including access to much of what Guardians have been playing for the last year in Forsaken, but solid game modes like Gambit, Menagerie, and access to all the destinations. You'll have every opportunity to take a proper dive into the world of Destiny and see if you would like more. You may find yourself enviously inspecting another Guardian with exclusive glowing armor and exotic weapons, but for not needing to pay a dime, it's a superb place to start. If you already know that you are more of a hardcore player that will enjoy a power level climb and want access to all the bounties, quests, and exotics available, you'll want to consider buying the expansions. Returning players who may have grown jaded from the low point of Year 1 after the original hype for Destiny 2, but still consider themselves to be completionists or hardcore gamers familiar with the game's grind, should consider grabbing Forsaken the Complete Edition, in addition to Shadowkeep. The Forsaken campaign is also perfect for players who want to pick up where they left off in Destiny 2. The raids in particular are some of the grandest locations in the Destiny universe, and for players who want to challenge themselves, experience as much as they can, or want to experience the game chronologically, the Forsaken Complete Edition expansion might just be the perfect missing piece to bridge the gap between New Light and Shadowkeep. Shadowkeep turns a new page in the developer's philosophy and is best for almost every group of gamer interested in Destiny that would ideally like to play all of the new content right away. The whole idea of Shadowkeep is breaking down barriers and letting you dive right into the game. So if you're a new player that wants to play the latest content without anything blocking your path, or maybe you have friends that are on Shadowkeep and you want to play at the same pace as them, then it's worth looking into. The same idea applies to returning players who aren't particularly bothered with missing out on the endgame content from Forsaken or don't care about trying to collect all of the exotics for the time being. If you're buying Shadowkeep, the other consideration is whether or not you also want to get the Season Pass, because Shadowkeep owners don't have to worry about that choice, at least for this season. But if you buy Forsaken, or you stick to Destiny New Light, it's important to remember that the Season Pass has its own exclusive content as detailed earlier, and it will have to be purchased separately if you don't own Shadowkeep. So there you have it! Consider whether or not you are interested in Destiny 2 casually, or if you are more of a hardcore gamer, and how fast you want to dive into the new content. Definitely stay tuned with GameSpot as we will consistently be providing a lot of great articles and videos detailing high-level gameplay, weekly Xur location guides, cross-save explainers, endgame guides, and more. A warm welcome to all of the new Guardians diving into new light, and to players new and old alike, always remember, the moon's haunted. <laughs>